Okay, so here's the deal. I was just watching The Biggest Loser and finished up my handful of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went there. Anyway, um, and I go into the bathroom to take my shower because I take showers at night. And I'm disrobing and I take a quick look in the mirror and I'm thinking, you know what, I just came up with the latest and greatest diet trend. If I could market it, package it up, sell it, I could be a millionaire because really, um, it's an amazing idea. So I'm looking at myself and I'm thinking, this diet is called the Naked Diet. And it works in one, no, two ways. The first way, well, let me tell you the rules, first of all. The rule is you can only eat while naked. Um, that's it. That's all there is to it. You can eat whatever the hell you want. You can eat burgers, pizza, fries, candy, soda, anything you want. Eat it. But you can only eat it while you are naked. So it works in two ways. Number one, if you're looking at yourself, which is kind of hard to do if you have no clothes on, or hard not to do, I should say, if you have no clothes on. It's kind of there. Um, if you catch a glimpse of any part of your body while you are putting that slice of pizza in your mouth, or chocolate chips, um, you won't want it anymore. Have you tried it? Seriously, try it. And the second way is that eating while naked really cuts out a lot of food. I mean, there's no social eating situations. There's no eating at parties. There's no picnics. Um, there's no eating while driving. There's no going to restaurants. Fast food restaurants are out. Um, you know, picnics on the beach. Well, I guess technically you might be partially naked on the beach, so a snack. But that's all you get. Um, really going to cut out a lot of calories. Thinking it's a genius idea. Um, I don't know. Hey peeps. So I'm not looking pretty. Um, but you know what? Sometimes the excitement just gets to the best of me and I have to make a video like now. I got in the mail today a sample. This is the highly awaited, very exciting chocolate creamy bites. Got this in the mail this afternoon and, well, a couple hours ago. And I have to say, it was hard not to rip into this thing and eat it immediately. But I wanted to do it on video so you get my first and true honest opinion. And um, thanks to Jen for sending it to me. You're awesome. I will probably have to order a box myself after this. And one thing I have heard about these is that the packaging was slightly revamped due to Melting Mamas um, ranting about how difficult it was to open, which it's not that hard, but uh, this is supposed to be easier. So let's see, whatever, this is the same. She says it's easier. Mm, it's the same. I think she's maybe just gotten better at opening the packages. But so let's see. Now in my imagination, these were going to taste like Tootsie Rolls because I know the texture of the lemon calcite creamy bites was kind of Play-Doh like. Now mine is a little bit slightly crumbly because it was sent in a little bubble wrap and squished a little bit. Mmm. This smells exactly like those ding-dongs from Hostess, the little squiggle of white icing on the top. It's exactly what this smells like. Hostess ding-dongs. Are you ready? Hmm. I mean, really, this looks like a piece of fudge. Mmm. 
tastes exactly like a ding dong, Hostess ding dong, but with the texture of fudge. It even kind of melts in your mouth like chocolate is supposed to melt. That's usually my issue with things that are supposed to taste like chocolate but aren't chocolate is the texture, is that they don't melt. Mm -hmm. Are you jealous? Should be. 40 calories per bite is kind of a lot of calories, but this is like dessert. You could have this in the evening when you're craving something sweet. Mmm. Yeah. This is good. I'm gonna order a box. I'm almost out of my lemon bites. I think I'm gonna have both on hand though because you know, you just never know when you're gonna be in a chocolatey kind of mood or in a lemony kind of mood. Nice job, Calcet. Well done. All right, so here's the deal. I did not lose any weight this week. Zero, zero pounds. Um, initially, when I got on the WeFit this morning, it actually said that I had gained 0.2 pounds. So I stepped off, I went and peed, and came back and weighed again, and it said that I, you know, just hadn't lost anything didn't gain. So I peed out the 0.2 pounds, so I'm going with a zero loss instead of a 0.2 gain because that I can deal with a little better. Um, I have hit another plateau, another stall, whatever you want to call it, and I haven't come across many of them on my journey, so I do feel very fortunate. Um, but they do suck, and you know, I can't really say that I don't know why because, you know, I'm getting relaxed. I'm totally um, easing up on the diet. I am not exercising as much. Um, I'm kind of like testing the limits of my surgery, I guess you could say. I'm eating more sugar than I was in the beginning. Um, I don't think that I am going overboard. I'm not worried that my behavior is going to spiral out of control and I'm going to end up 300 pounds again. I'm just not worried about that. But um, I do realize that if I want to get to my goal, my ultimate goal, which is to lose about another 15 pounds, then I need to be more strict. I am sort of in more of like a maintenance mode right now. I am comfortable. I'm eating the things that I like to eat and exercising when I feel like it. Um, and what do you get when you enter your maintenance phase? You maintain. So obviously, you know, that's been my pattern the last couple weigh-ins. So, you know, I can't say that I am too disappointed that I'm not losing weight right now. If anything, it shows me that I can maintain and that I'm not going to gain the weight back when I relax and ease up a little bit. Um, so it actually does make me feel good in a sense. Um, that being said, I really do want to re reach my goal. I do want to lose 15 pounds and I want to do it by summertime. I want to be completely comfortable and like wearing my shorts and my bathing suits and I'm going to be spending time with family, you know, at the lake house and going to the beach and I totally want to do those things and I want to know that this summer, I am so far from where I was last summer, and I just...